Hello volunteer translators this is the first uh, video tutorial in a series of two which will help explain hopefully um, how you will translate pages for us on our website um, thank you for your work it's very important as it will help expand our reach um, to users around the world and you know our mission is to help bring resources to under-resourced communities so again your work is valuable so let's get started uh, you want to go to urbanministry.org, excuse me, and log in. Now, what's, once you're logged in, you will want to um, go to urbanministry.org/translation, and um, And so you'll enter that in the address bar once this page loads. Okay, so the page finally loaded. So clear out that text. And so after the forward slash, you type in translation. Press enter. And on this page, you'll see the step-by-step -step, uh, documentation on how to translate so you can come to this page and just follow these steps directly and you should be alright and you can refer to this video to help you out so this video is going over this first section um, basically down here and the next video will be on translating content types so to get started all these uh, links here are links to pages which you'll be translating so as you can see pages which can be translated online so you'll right click over a page open the link in a new tab as I'm doing here okay and what you're going to want to do is highlight all the text the unique text for this page um, and um, hover over the button as well as you can see it's highlighted on this left side once it's highlighted uh, right click and press copy so you're going to want to highlight all the text in between this tag section and underneath the, these three um, tabs. So everything in between that. So once that's copied, uh, right click translate, open the link in a new tab. And you'll see a series of languages available. Find the language you're translating for. Um, so let's use um, Portuguese as an example so you'll want to click add translation and once this page loads what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy um, what you excuse me you're gonna paste what you copied into the body um, and here this is where you'll put the translation um, so this is just like a word document um, you can backspace and type new translation um, and you can type new um, you can translate essentially all over this page and that's what we want you to do we want you to translate um, you know all of these words um, the these hyperlinks these words um, highlighted in blue and underlined um, you don't have to worry about keeping them as a hyperlink the administrators when they moderate the page pages will fix that um, the main thing is just to you know let's go ahead and put new translation um, but actually it's a good thing that I did that because you wouldn't be translating christianvolunteering.org because that's our actual site so you know you don't need to translate the name of the website but something like this volunteering um, help etc you would translate everything but like the name of a website you wouldn't have to translate um, so it's pretty straightforward you can just like I said backspace and you know add new translation there uh, and we want to keep the text in the format the same so keep it the same you know as much as possible it it should it shouldn't change if you just backspace and you know type 
new. Um, nothing should change. Um, you can also refer to back to the original English page if you need to. If you make a mistake or you know something gets deleted, you can just refer back to here um, and just put that in there. Um, that's pretty straightforward for that. Um, that's how that works. So what you would do is once you're done, you would hit save. And um, you know, once it would save, it will probably not look very good, but you don't have to worry about that because an administrator will moderate it and fix it and make sure that it looks good. Um, your main objective is just to put the new language translation in. Um, so yeah, so once that would be done, what you would do is you would um, remember to keep track of what pages you translated on your Google Doc. So for example, you would go to your Google Doc and um, virtual volunteer language translators will is the doc that you'll have and we'll send you emails um, which will explain how to do this, how to sign up. It's, it's pretty easy. Um, you just create a Gmail account and you can uh, access Google Docs. Then you notice on the bottom there's, there's these tabs here. So you go to Pages Translated and so if I was Cindy, Cindy uh, Yo, I would type in Christian Volunteering Search as the page which I just translated. Um, so that, see this is the page and again the titles are here on urbanministry.org slash translation. So we're just going to want you to go through all these um, and go ahead and translate them. Um, there's one final thing, uh, a few final things uh, before we close this out. Um, which it didn't show up um, in the last in our example for whatever reason but you have buttons in some of the pages and you could actually translate the buttons I think it'll show up here in, in the Dutch one um, and it's pr it's pretty easy uh, it's in the documentation also just so you see it um, oh, well I needed to copy the text again so we'll just have to do it again I'll just do a small portion of it well I guess I have to do all of it so copy and then right click open link a new tab translate and then add translation to Dutch just go ahead and click that paste it um, so here you have a button and to translate the button you'll right click over the button select button properties and then put translation in the text value box and then just press OK and you see that there's the you see the changes there um, so again um, once you finish translating the text um, you will just uh, scroll down and hit save. Um, one final note in terms of translating, we want you to translate the concepts primarily, not necessarily word for word, because you have some concepts which don't make sense which you, when you translate word for word. But if there is a word for word translation, feel free to use it. Um, but again, the general rule is to translate the concepts, the ideas. Um, that essentially covers it. Um, I think I forgot one thing though that you will need to also translate the title and that is in the documentation um, so translate the title of the page you are translating so you translating the title um, the section in the body everything all the text in the body and then you hit save when you're done um, so that essentially covers it um, again, refer to the documentation on urbanministry.org slash translation because there's some additional notes. Um, but if you follow the notes and refer to the video, you should be fine. If you have further questions, you can email Chris Miller at techmission.org. It's Chris at techmission.org. 
Uh, thank you again for your work and have a good day.